it's pretty sad that being treated like a dog is better than the life you once had. We're going to be talking about Chainsaw Man, Episode 2, My Thoughts and Reactions. But before I get into it, welcome to Nonstop Antonio, where I talk about everything nerdy. If you like content just like this, hit the subscribe button for more, and I hope you enjoy this video. I like how the episode started with Makima treating Denji like a dog, and Denji just being okay with it, because he's with a girl now, and he can live happily ever after, because... He's out of that shitty life he once had. And when he said that Pochita's dead, I was like, my heart dropped. I'm like, no, there's no way Pochito's dead. No, not the good boy. But Makimea confirms later that he's just inside of him. And they're now one, I guess. They're sharing the same body. Which I wonder if, if Pochita's little body is going to come back. Because I'd love to see it. He's absolutely adorable. Speaking of being treated like a dog, I also realized that in the opening, you can see Denji on a leash being fed like a dog. And on Makimea's lap and being petted like a dog, which I didn't realize those two parallels were off the bat, and now I'm kind of seeing it, I'm like, oh, okay, so they're gonna treat him like he's a dog, okay, because if dog is, like, disobedient and everything, and, you know, causes trouble, they need to be put down. Well, the good thing Denji is obedient because he wants to get what he wants to get, if you know what I mean, because even in this, Denji woofs, I was like, Denji, bro, did you, did you just woof? Did you just, <laughs> did you just woof as she fed you? Because he was gonna feed himself, but then she's like, can you feed yourself? He's like, no. Because just so we could be fed by a cute girl. Oh my god, Denji. Denji just rolls over backwards for any girl that gives him attention. And I find it funny, but it's also sad at the same time. I, I feel like Makima is manipulating him because he even asks her, like, what kind of guy are you interested in? And he's, she's like, the Denji kind. And I'm like, that's kind of oddly specific. But it is a good way to get your half-human, half-devil to help you by making him believe what he wants to believe. So if he believes that he has a chance with Makima, he's more likely to help them. But also it could be different at the same time where Makima actually believes in him and thinks he could do good and wants to help him. So he, she has to use his manipulating tools to do good in the end, which I mean, that's all possible. And I'm sure that's where it's going because apparently there's a big fan base on Makima. So I'm assuming that's where that's going. Otherwise, I have no idea because I've never read the manga and I don't want to know because I want to learn while I'm watching the show. Because this episode felt like a huge exposition episode where we learned about the devil headquarters learned about Aki, learned about power, learning about all the different characters that are in this world, just to set up what's going to happen in the next coming episodes. I also find it hilarious that when he was sent on patrol with Aki, he, Aki beats the shit out of him, knocks him to the ground, and, you know, really shows that he has no real motivation to be a devil hunter. I love that Denji gets up and just aims for Aki's nuts and just takes him down and just keeps beating on him and then carries him back to Makima and says that it was a nut devil, which is just the lamest excuse, but also... Sounds like something Denji would come up with to cover his ass. I like how we find out that Makima has a special unit going on with Aki and now power. So it's this unit working with humans, devils, and fiends all working together to take down the devils and the other fiends that are causing a ruckus in the town and trying to kill everyone. Which I think is going to be interesting because they even said that if anything bad happens, you know, what do you think will happen to Denji and power? They'll get... They'll be get killed. They're not going to be alive if this unit gets shut down. And even if Denji's not following orders, being unsubordinate, they will kill him because he is powerful and he is technically half devil. They're going to kill him if he's a troublemaker. And I like how when they meet the first fiend, Aki's like, okay, go kill him. Use your devil powers. And then he doesn't and just slices his head off with an axe. Aki's like, why would you do that? Denji kind of uses as an excuse like, well, he's a fiend. I didn't want to get blood all over the place. You know, it makes a real bloody mess. And he's kind of giving them sympathy. But after you realize he just did it so he can save the porno magazines that are sitting on the ground. Denji's a little bit of a creep. But also he's never been around other people because he's lived in a tiny little shack because of the Yakuza. So it's, it's it makes sense. And I like we also find out that Aki wants revenge. He's he's after the devils because they one of them killed his entire family in front of him, which is really dark. And I'm wondering if we will see that flashback because I'm kind of curious to see if there's a specific devil that did it and if he's still around that Aki's going to have to face him or Denji's going to have to help him face it, which I think is going to be really cool in the long run to see some of these other devils because the one at the very end of the episode was a sea cucumber devil. We had a tomato devil it, and then we had a zombie devil. Like these devils are really weird creatures and it's going to be interesting to see which other ones we see. I like how Denji's living his dream. He's living in a house. He has food. You know, he met Makima and he needs a proper goal to be a hunter. And I like how he realizes that his proper goal is touching boobs. That's his goal now, is boobs. Denji, what the hell? All Denji's motivations are all like boobs and girls. And it's just, it's funny. It's funny just because he's been so alone his whole life. That's all he wants is girls. And I guess we'll see where this season goes. I like when he meets Power. Power comes in and he's like, I'm not going to work with a fiend. And then she, he realizes she has boobs 
And he's like, oh, no, I'll work with her. Yeah, we're good. We're good. And then they go work together. And Power seems like she's a lunatic. And I think that's going to be a fun, like, group to work together. You got Denji, who's a, well, he's in love with all girls he meets pretty much. And he turns into this goddamn rockin' chainsaw man. Then you got Power, who's a little bit crazy, who wants to kill devils and wants their blood. Because even at the end of the episode, she just runs off the roof with a blood mallet and just smacks that cucumber into pieces. And that's how it ends. I thought there'd be more action in this episode, but it was definitely a more exposition episode. And I'm interested to in learning more about Aki and, like, if he has any powers or, you know, how he uses that sword. Because I think it's going to be pretty cool to learn more about him. Same with Makima. We didn't really learn anything other than the fact that she has a good nose. So I'm interested to see her in action. I'm loving this series. Again, this episode was more of like an exposition episode, but otherwise I thought it was a great setup to figure out what this world is, learning more about the characters, being introduced to all the characters. And now I think it'll go into whatever the main plot's going to be in the next episode, because now we have gone that exposition in these last two, teaching us about devils, fiends, the devil hunters, and all our main characters. I think anyways. <laughs> anyways, it was a great episode. I loved it. I cannot wait for Chainsaw Man next week. I'm going to be covering more anime as I keep going forward because I'm absolutely loving it. I used to go from never, list, never watching anime whatsoever, refusing to watch it, to jamming up to anime music in my car. So <laughs> life has changed a lot, and I am looking forward to the many animes that are to come. Let me know what you thought about this episode in the comments. And if you like content just like this, hit the subscribe button for more, hit the like button because it helps this channel out a lot. And I will talk to you guys later. <laughs>